Yo, what's up? It's Patrick from Guy in the Cube. And in this video, I'm gonna demonstrate how you sort by a measure that's not included in a visual. Stay tuned. Okay, so we just got a couple of emails recently about something just like a little gold nugget in Power BI that people found out that you can do and the product team knew, but I think a lot of us out here in the community didn't know. Um, and so because of that, that's why I'm doing this video to show you how to sort your visuals by a measure that's not actually included in it, okay? You know, you guys know how I like to do. What? The best way for me to show you is to head over to my laptop. Okay, so I have this visual right here. It's a bar chart and this bar chart I've included the, in the on the axis, the region, and as the values, the sales. Now, when you click the ellipsis in the top right corner, you can see that I have a sort by option. That sort by, it only exposes region and sales. But what if I wanted to sort by something else, like maybe I have the number of customers and I wanna sort by that, instead of actually sorting by those two columns? Well, what you would do is you would grab customer, drag it to the value section, and now it appears in the list of options. But it kind of messes up my bar chart. So is there another way to actually do it without including it in the visual itself, where there is? And we found that out via Twitter. Um, I actually didn't know this, and I saw it tweet. I saw a tweet about it. Adam actually emailed me and was like, hey, you should do a video on this. So here I am doing the video, right? So let's get rid of it out of our uh, value section. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring it down to the tooltip. Now, if I hover over the bar chart, not only do you see those values, but you also see the actual value of customers displayed in my tooltip. But guess what I can do now? I can actually go to the same ellipsis, go here, and now I can choose customers, and my sort is purely based on that customer's column, which is great, which is awesome, right? A um, little gold nugget that they snuck in, and nah, they really didn't advertise, but it's absolutely phenomenal all right and so something else you can do i'm going to give a big shout out to casper casper's on the customer advisory team he wrote a blog post up about it and he actually pointed something else out sup casper all right so he talked about tables now this option is purely available if two tips is available for that visual um, because what it does is, and Casper goes to say this in his blog post, it actually adds it to the query um, of the, that element, right? So that's why it exposes it. But what about a table or a matrix? They don't have two tip options. How would you do it there? So Casper in his blog post kind of showed a hack and I'm gonna show you what he, what he did in his blog post. So what we're gonna do is just copy this element, add a new page, paste it there, and I'm gonna make this a table. You can do this for both tables and matrix, okay? Now, of course, I can simply just click this and it'll sort it, you know, by that, but I don't wanna show, you know, I don't wanna show customers in my table or my matrix, I wanna hide it. So before you do anything, the first thing you need to do is go to the format option and choose column headers, turn off word wrap, on both the column headers and the values, both for table and matrix, it's the same thing. So you go ahead and turn it off, uh, word wrap, then what you'll do is simply hide that column, click on the ellipsis, you see the sort by, and there's customer. And now you can see I'm sorting by customer and it's not actually visual, uh, visible in my table. What do you guys think? How are you doing this today? Let me know, post it in the comments below. How are you working around it? Post it in the comments below. If this is your first time visiting the guy in the cube channel, go ahead, subscribe. If you like my video, Give me a big thumbs up. As always, from Adam and Patrick, thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.